hear me and feel me when I say, if you don't return for regular maintenance every four to six months, it's kind of like jumping on the Titanic and hoping that <laughs> everything's going to be okay. Let me help you understand why it's so critical that you come to each of these maintenance visits. At each visit, we're looking at the bridge, the gums, and the bone. Specifically, we're looking to see if the bone level has changed from surgery and from when we place the final device. We're looking at the gums. Are they red? Are they swollen? because those are the things that lead to bone loss. We're looking at the bridge. Is the bridge wearing in certain areas? Are the prosthetic screws tight? Do we see little micro movement? These are things that we'll pick up at that appointment. What I've seen too many times is patients love their teeth. They leave so happy and they forget to come back. They forget to do the maintenance. And just like the car that gets driven and driven and driven without the oil change, without changing the tires or checking the tire pressure, Eventually, there comes this moment where you're like, huh, I don't know, something might be wrong. And then you decide to come in. And oftentimes, the damage has been done and we can't fix it back to the original state. Like that iceberg that's out of sight, a patient can overlook that subtle vibration leading to a broken screw or a screw loosening or even worse, a catastrophic bridge break. But even if those catastrophic things don't happen, what I so often see is inflammation and redness. That's caused by bacteria, bacteria that's not removed out of the mouth. This can be from a patient that's water picking and brushing twice a day, but they're not doing it effectively. The only way to know if you're doing it effectively is to have the perspective of a dentist. The unfortunate result is bone loss. And that bone loss leads to implant threads exposed and those implant threads exposed only create harder areas to clean because the bacteria and the plaque attach to it because of the surface area that was designed to integrate with bone now it's attracting bacteria the good news is intervention is possible but it's not the intervention that most patients want it requires surgery it's painful it does cost extra money but that's the only way that we're gonna stop the bone loss. Even the best dentist in the world, with the best technology, best equipment, cannot undo the damage. They can't miraculously put bone back in the area around the implant and add healthy tissue over the top of it, which seals in and makes it so the implant is protected. Unfortunately, all they're trying to do is stop the progression of bone loss. But hear me when I say, if you don't intervene, then there's only one outcome. Increased bone loss, which causes that implant to lose stability, which eventually causes the bridge to lose stability, which eventually causes the teeth to fall out. And then the patient's left with no teeth, having to restart the process over, only now we have less bone. So please, it's really simple. Go and do the maintenance every four to six months. Listen to your doctor or hygienist. They only want what's best for you. They'll tell you the tools, the tips, and the tricks to be able to make sure that your implants are healthy, that the bone is up as high as it was the day of surgery. They'll encourage you. If they're like me, they might even give you a kick in the butt, but it comes from a place of love. Make sure you record it for yourself. Write it down on your own notebook. Take a picture with your phone. Nobody's gonna care about this as much as you do. I care a lot. That's probably one of my biggest strengths and weaknesses as a doctor. But even as much as I care, you should care more. And that's why you have to take responsibility and not wait. Don't become the victim. Be proactive. Make sure you're going to these visits. They're doing a great job, that you're recording it. And ultimately that you keep that beautiful smile that was such a huge investment for you. The time, the money, emotionally have the courage to go to surgery and to go through this whole process. Just like these teeth built from the best materials by the smartest people with the best technology, the Titanic took off and headed towards New York City. But that iceberg hit them because they weren't paying attention. And ultimately, there was catastrophic loss that couldn't be undone. If you're currently going through all next treatment or have already had it done, and you really wanna take responsibility of your own treatment so that you can record the health of the bone, the health of the gums, the health of the device, the bridge, 
And then over time, you can see the health of each of these critical areas so that you can have really great conversations with your doctor and also hold your doctor and the office responsible to make sure that they get certain data. So if you'd like to use this useful tool to record each visit and the health of each of these areas, click on the link below and I'll send it to you and you can begin to use it right away.